Good morning friends. Today we are going to discuss about TYBA paper G3. It is general paper 3. As we all know that the title of the paper is Advanced Study of English Language and Literature. So this paper contains concepts of language as well as concepts of literature. For TYBA, right now there is 80-20 pattern. It means that there will be exam, annual examination of 80 marks and 20 marks will be allotted according to the determined examination. Now what are the texts described for the syllabus? As we have discussed that there are some points related to literature and some of the points related to language. So, according to the topics of literature, there is a collection of Indian English poetry prescribed in the text, as a text. For language section, linguistics and introduction is the book prescribed for the study. Now, let us focus on what are the topics from the language or literature part. So first of all we will deal with the part of literature. As we have discussed earlier, a collection of Indian English poetry is the book prescribed for the syllabus and some of the poems which are prescribed in the text are as follows. For example, number one, Henry Dozio, Song of Hindustani Minstrel, number two, Rabindranath Tagore's Silent Sleep Steps. Number three, Swami Vivekananda, that is Peace. Sarojini Naidu, Song of Radha, the Milkmaid. Number five, Nizam Izakal, Poet, Lover, Bird Watcher. Number six, Kamla Das, An Introduction. Number seven, A.K. Ramanujan, The Strider. And number eight, that is Adil Juswala. C. Breeze Bombay. So, in all, there are eight poems prescribed in the text for the first term. In the second term, there will be four poems prescribed. They are as follows Jant Mahapatra's The Captive Air of Chandipur on Sea, Arun Kolatkar's The Bus, Aga Ashid Ali's The Season of the Plains. Mamta Kalai, that is tribute to Papa. So these four poems are prescribed for the second term. Now let us focus on the linguistic part of the syllabus. As we have discussed above, linguistic part of the syllabus is related to the book that is linguistics and introduction. And chapter 5, 6 and 7 are related to the TYBA students or the syllabus. So for the first term we are going to discuss syntax. So now what we are going to discuss in syntax is concept of phrases, phrase structure, rules or types of phrases. For example, noun phrase, adjective phrase, adverb phrase, prepositional phrase as well as verb phrase. In the same section, we are going to discuss about the concept of clause. For example, the parts of clauses, that is subjects, objects, <coughs> complements, adverbials, concept of subject, verb, concards, clauses, patterns. In the same section, we are going to discuss the types of sentences, that is a structural classification, for example, simple sentences compound sentences as well as complex sentences. Even we are going to discuss the types of sentences based on the functions. So the functional classification can be for example affirmative, interrogative, imperative sentences, wh type questions, yes no type questions, question tags, negative sentences and do support imperatives. In the second term we are going to focus on the semantics as well as pragmatics. In semantics, at the introductory level, we are going to discuss what is meant by semantics. 
difference between denotative connotative meanings lexical relations synonyms antonyms homony homography homophony polysemy differences between homonym and polysemy even the subordinate terms and hyphonym as well as metonyms while discussing about the pragmatics as the section we are going to think about what is meant by pragmatics what is meant by speech arts and what are the types of speech arts in this section we are going to discuss different types of speech arts referred by different linguists for example austin's typology locationary illocationary perlocationary acts surlay's typology that is there are six types of speech acts even we are going to discuss direct and indirect speech acts the cooperative principle and its maxims as well as the polite polite principle politeness principle and its maxims so in all in the second term we are going to focus on the two sections of linguistics that is semantics and pragmatics so now just focus on the question paper pattern to discuss the term and examination pattern for g3 paper that is advanced study of english language and literature so as we all know that term and examination is of 60 marks and the allotted time limit is of 2 hours so the question paper will be of 16 marks and the question paper will be divided into five questions the first question is attempt any two out of four questions in about 100 words each so in this first question the questions will be asked on the poems from 1 to 4 prescribed from the first term and there will be 12 marks it means that each question carries 6 marks the second question is about poems the question will be like this attempt any two out of four in about 100 words each questions on the poem from 5th to 8th prescribed from the first term again this question is also of 12 marks and each question carries 6 marks so the first two questions are related to the poetry section in question number 3 there will be questions based on syntax again here we find attempt any two out of four questions in about 100 words each and the topic for the questions is syntax described for the first term This question also carries 12 marks so each question has 6 marks Now let us focus on question number 4 In question number 4 again we have to deal with syntax and we have to write short notes four short notes will be given and we have to attempt any two out of them this question carries 12 marks it means that we have to write the answer for each question and we have to write the answer for 6 marks so question number 5 is divided into two parts the first section is of a group related to reference to the context we have to solve two questions out of four this question is related to the poetry section we have to write them the reference to the context of two poems and each reference is about three marks it means that we have to deal with this a section for six marks b section of this question is about syntax prescribed for the first term and some objective questions will be asked we have to deal with that practical or objective questions for 6 marks 
so this is what we call the syllabus and what we call the question paper pattern for the termant exam i hope that it will be helpful for all the students to deal with the paper and tackle the queries in their minds so i thank you all for this